Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Yes, same here. That's nice. So, what is your name? Uh, my name is Arundhati Roktima. Arundhati? Yeah, Arundhati. Okay, so nice name. Oh, thank you. Yes, so where are you from in India? I'm from Chhattisgarh. Uh, I live in a city called Bhilai. And where Bhilai. are you? Yes, yes. So what is the name of your city? Bhilai. Bhilai. Okay. Where are you from? I am from Bihar. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Do you know Bihar? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I know about Patna. Patna? Yeah. Have you ever been to Patna? Um, no, never. That's never. sad. Why? Okay. Then how did you know Patna? Uh, I just uh, know it because I read it somewhere like in newspapers or yeah, somewhere. Yeah. It's okay. like the capital of Bihar. That's why Cap I know. Yes, yes. Capital of Bihar. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So would you like to tell me something about yourself because about your work and about your hobby, about your goal? Yeah, you can tell me something. So uh, I study in class seventh uh, and I have a few hobbies, uh, painting, dancing, singing, and I also love reading books. And I want to become an IS officer in my future. Oh, it's a great goal. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, may it come true and I wish to God, may God fulfill it very soon. Thank and, you. Uh, so after becoming IS officer, uh, how will how will you maintain and how will you serve our in our country in your district and in your state? How will you serve? How will you do? So uh, I don't have much idea about it, but I have yeah, thought. You can tell me something. Yeah. Uh, so I have thought of like helping the poor people. Like many of them don't have like the uh, supply of good water. They don't have good yes. roads and they like there is not like good education as well. So I want to improve all those things and I want to help them. Yeah, it's really good because firstly, we have to progress and we have to develop our yeah. country. Uh, yeah, in in health, in health sector. Yeah, yeah, this is really important. And after that, in education sector, we have to improve a lot and we have to yeah. develop a lot. So that our class, yeah, so that our country can develop and our new upcoming generation, they will also become so build, uh, build, uh, build confident and they can do anything, whatever they want to change in our country. Yeah, yeah it's really good. You have great yeah. thinking. Thank you. But you know what the main problem or like the main issue is like uh, many of those places don't have like good hospitals. And so that is like a great issue. And uh, yeah. but due to this, in this coronavirus pandemic, like many places like could not get good like vaccines and medi medicines and yes. hospitals. That's why many people even died. And they don't even have money for like good medication. Like even if they have good hospitals in their places, they don't have the money to like pay for the medicines and everything. So that's like really bad condition. Yes. Yeah. So would you like to yeah would you like to tell me something like about your daily routine because in your life you want to become IS officer so must be your daily routine should be different. <laughs> there is nothing different actually. Um, no. My mom always says that uh, I don't have the qualities of becoming an IS. I'm just like a normal student, but uh, I have like started doing some work like reading current affairs and GK and I have started reading this book. This is like the book for current affairs. Like, this is yeah, so current, yeah. yeah, this one is for the Manorama yearbook and this yeah, is for yeah. the current affairs and GK and everything. Yeah. yeah. So 
I've started reading like one or two paragraphs daily. So yeah, that's a little different, I can say. Okay, yeah. and you have to good at uh, in every subject. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, good. Yeah, you have great goal. And if you never give up and if you are continue with your work and if you do your study properly, yes, then definitely and obviously in your life one day you can become IS officer. Yeah, thank you. By the way, yeah. I wanted to ask that uh, what is like, uh, what is your institute about? Like, is it like tuitions for learning English? Yes, yes, exactly. You are right about oh. learning. Oh, so that's great. I've seen your YouTube videos. Your students are like really very great. Yes, yes. Yeah, they are so excited to talk with anyone and they are so excited to learn English and speak English. Yeah, that's really yeah. great. Yeah, when I also saw your video on YouTube, so I thought definitely I should connect you and we can converse, we can make conversation and after that we can upload on our YouTube channel. So yeah. how long have you been learning English? Uh, I've been learning English um, like I don't know, like uh, like I started learning English when I was like a kid, I think like uh, but the like the real English teaching uh, learning like all those grammar portion I can say it has been like only a few months. Only a few months. Yeah. So are you a student of government school or private school? I think you are a student of private school. Yeah, it's called DPS Bhilai, Delhi Public School Bhilai. Oh, it's really yeah. Yeah, it's really great a school in uh, in Delhi. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. So I think you are a student of private school, so you don't need to join uh, any institute for learning English, because in that school, uh, your medium, like your uh, medium is English medium. You are a student of English yeah. medium. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, obviously you can learn English. You can talk with anyone. Yeah. Because whatever you are studying, everything is written in English. Yes. Yeah, am I right? You know what? You need like. <laughs> Practice for talking and listening. Then yes, only. Yes. Yeah, I understand. We need to practice, but you know, it depends. It depends upon a student too much. Like if you are a student of private school, or if you are a student of government school, so there is too much difference between the student of private school and the student of government school, because. Yeah. If you are, yeah, if you are practicing English every day and you are a student of a private school and your medium is English medium, you are a student of English medium, then you can learn English quickly because it will not take a long time. Yeah. But yeah. if you are a student of, yeah, but if you are a student of government school and your medium is Hindi, you are a student of Hindi medium. So obviously and definitely because I am sure because I have seen many students if they are studying in government school and if they have not joined any English spoken class and they are just uh, doing self study. So it will take little bit, but not too much. It depends upon a student because if that student is so serious, then he can also learn English uh, quickly. But uh, yeah, but maximum students, if they are a student of government school, so it takes long time for yeah. learning English, English. Yes. By the because way, you are. Yeah, I am. I am also a student of government school because when I when I was studying in uh, fifth class, sixth class, so yeah, I studied uh, from uh, from first class to fifth class in government school, and after that I took admission in private school. That's great. You have really great English. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I wanna. Yeah, but I wanna improve a lot. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. And your English also, your English is also so sweet. Thank you very much. Well, so how is weather today? Is it hot or is it normal? Because you know, in my side, it's too hot weather. Oh, uh, it's like a normal temperate weather. Like it's not too hot or not too cold. It is nice. Last night it was raining a little bit. So it's oh, a so little that's why, normal. Yeah, so that's why due to raining. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why today it is like normal. Yeah, but in my side, it has been not raining for around like five or six days. So that's why weather is so hot. Oh. Yes. You know, just 
when when you sent me message on skype so that time i was riding my cycle that I, that time i was coming back to my coaching oh yes and so that time i saw your message and i thought obviously yeah and definitely i should reply your message and then yeah. you can know like uh, yeah about our time about our conversation like at what time we can talk so that time while while riding my cycle uh, i sent message to you oh yeah and nice. just yeah so how are you like uh, what's your plan today because today is weekend uh actually my exams are coming like it's from 15 like only 3 days are left so today like the plan is only study and study and study and you yeah. know what my first exam is english so today today whole day i have to learn english <laughs> oh it's it's a really wonderful subject english so i hope you will get good marks in english subject thank you yeah yeah so what yeah what's your opinion like uh, are you confident like you will get good marks in english ah uh, yeah i'm a little bit confident about english the grammar portion and everything why a little bit just the, be fully be confident <laughs> yeah actually i'm not much confident because like i have prepared all the grammar and like writing portion and everything but we have like one book in our english subject and we have to learn question answers it's like a story yes, book yes. and there are some yes. question answers from those stories so i'm not much confident in those question answers so would you like to tell me what is the name of your uh, story book uh it's called a uh, honeycomb do you know honeycomb honeycomb no in bihar yeah in bihar like uh, in maximum private school but i think uh, in maximum private school their book is different uh, actually it's an ncert book honeycomb any com ncert book yeah okay yeah yeah but i don't know so yeah but you know because i also teach in private school so they are uh, i teach uh, inspired inspired english book okay. the name of yeah, yeah the name of that book is inspired okay that's nice name yeah yeah and in that book there are many like english story and uh, we have to explain that story and we have to make yeah. them understand yeah and after that all the students they will uh, make their answer questions okay that's nice yes i also teach in private school oh which classes yeah from first class to ninth class oh that's amazing yes So, how is the weather? No, sorry, not weather. How is the day today? Like, is has your day been good? Like from morning? Yeah, from morning to till now, yeah, it passed uh, good, and I hope I will pass my whole day very well and with lovely moment. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because you know, like our day is yeah, our day is in our hand. just it depends upon you how yeah. to yeah uh, yeah how to you make your day if you make your day like uh, enjoyable or lovely day then it, it will become lovely for you if you yeah. if you make your day like bad or not so special then it yeah then it will also become like you so it depends upon your thinking it depends upon your work so just we have to be active every day we have to always try to do something special in our life so that our definitely our day will become something special yeah that's nice that's really yeah. nice yeah because today is weekend and when i asked to you like what will you do today then you told me like uh, your exam is at your hand you have to attend your exam so uh, today you have to prepare about your subject like english subject like all subjects so today yeah today if you prepare about your all subjects then you will make your special day because yeah. because of today yeah because of today and because because of the like if you study today then tomorrow your result will be so sweet yeah you're right yes so it depends upon us just 
yeah. how to make your day, how to deal with your day, how to enjoy your day, how to pass your day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Arun Dharti, this was this is this is really nice show and beautiful conversation with you. And I am so glad to connect you here on my YouTube channel because I had been trying to connect you for a long time, but finally today I connected you. So I'm so happy. I cannot explain my happiness in my words. Yes, same here. And you know what? Yeah. While talking to you, I got like a suggestion for your students, like for learning English. Like they can read some short like books, something like I have this book called Journey yeah, Stilton. What is the name of this book? Uh, Journey Stilton. Like the like book is like really nice. Can you see like the writing text and everything? They're like really nice to read. Hospital, hospital ring. Yeah, and they have like pictures and everything. So this is like really nice. It's called yeah, Journey Stilton. Like uh, English story book. Yeah, like it is really nice for learning new words, vocabulary, grammar, and like uh, I have learned many grammar like rules from this book only. I was reading, I had been reading this since I was like a small kid. It's like really nice book. It's my just suggestion. Okay, yeah, definitely. I will share to my students about this book and I will also recommend them uh, like they can also purchase this book if this book will be available like in my market in our locality so they can like online on like amazon they can get maybe yeah on amazon yes yeah because online we can get everything in our life yes <laughs> yeah nowadays this is, this is modern era so we have to use we have to we have to take advantage of modern life and modern era yeah. <laughs> yes yeah, so thank you for giving your lovely suggestion for me and I hope definitely I will share with my students. And would you also like to talk with my students like whenever you will finish so that time you can also talk with my students in the class like yeah. on Skype. And also, sure. You can also talk, you can also talk to my students. Like decide and see what will happen. Yeah, After yeah, my yes. exams, maybe. So yeah, so when you will complete your exam? Uh, it's like uh, like three weeks later on. I will message you if possible. Yeah, after three weeks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, my best luck with you. And I hope you will complete your exam with good marks. And uh, yes. And you will write very well in your exam. <laughs> Thank you. So, like you know, do you do any activity like when you go to your exam, when you go for your exam for the first time from first day? So like in the in the exam period time, do you worship any god? <laughs> uh, sorry, I could not get you. Could you repeat? I'm saying that like when you whenever you go for your exam, so yeah, so before going to exam, do you worship to any god? Uh yeah. After I like go uh, take like blessings from my parents and uh, ask God for like good marks, like please God give me good marks and test and everything. I like do it very often. Yes, yes, I also do. <laughs> yeah, and not yeah because many students they do like this, yeah. and this is good because whenever we take bless of our parents. And whenever we take bless of God, so that time you know we get some like positive energy in our mind, yeah, in our whole yeah, yeah. Yes. And there is also one thing like called dahi shakkar. Like parents always yeah. feed you dahi shakkar before going to any like exam. Yeah, that's okay. yes. Like we make our journey happy. Yeah, sweet and happy. Yes, yes, yeah. My also my mother also give me. Whenever I go for like any journey, so see, I start my journey like with happy moment, and I always take bless of my parents, and I also worship to God. So it's good because you know whenever we worship to God, whenever we take bless of our parents, so that time we forget all negative thing from our mind, yeah. and we catch 
yeah we catch positive things in our mind yeah hey god please give me such power and i can write very well in my exam and i can get good marks and after that i will be happy yeah so if you think like that i can i can and if you give me bless then i can pass my exam with first division with good marks with 80% yeah. with 90% then definitely this this type of thinking will make you little bit energy and energetic person and, and definitely you can do like that because yeah. everything depends upon your thinking because yeah. in the world positive yeah, thinking because, yeah because in the world it doesn't matter you have studied too much and you have not studied too much but we should have also confident you know because in examination hall many students they also know about like their question their answer but sometimes they feel hesitation and yeah. because of hesitation yeah because of hesitation they can't write properly so we yeah. don't need to become like hopeless and uh, like uh, we don't need to afraid of anyone just we have to be confident oh no one is no one is greater than me i know everything i will write whatever i know just be confident and yeah. we have to yeah we have to be free mind and we can write so i always think like this but i am not saying that we have to know a study we have to a study but we have to be confident not not yeah. not too much serious because you know i have seen many students if they are going for exam and if they are riding motorcycle if they are present in vehicle in bus so they also read they also look look at their book oh what is this you should you should have prepared at your home but yeah but if you are going for your examination hall then no need to take any any page any notes just you have to be confident and after that you have to write and before going to, yeah like if tomorrow is your exam if tomorrow is your exam you have to attend in your examination hall tomorrow so today you don't need to study whole night you have to yeah. take rest yeah. yeah you have to take rest and uh, you have to study little bit not too much you know if you study too much and if you are studying whole night and tomorrow if you are feeling a sleepy if you are not feeling like uh, energetic then you cannot write too much in your exam yeah. <laughs> so i always i always follow like this because i never get ho- i never feel hopeless yeah you're right yes. and you know when i yeah when i also completed my 10th exam 12th exam then that time yes i went to my examination hall without any notes just with my pen with my admit card because oh. yeah if you if you think that i have to write by myself i don't need to take any notes just you have to depend upon your mind you have to depend upon yourself then definitely yeah. you can write yeah. very well because there will be no any pressure just you, you have to write you know now whatever i know just i have to write so it's really good and i yeah. always try to suggest to all students yeah that's nice yeah so arundharti this is really nice conversation with you and this conversation is above 20 minutes so it's so long yeah. con- so long yeah. conversation with you so i hope yeah i hope we will meet again yeah sure so bye have a lovely day <laughs> bye same to you